So let me show you where you should consider putting a sealer on your Varla Eagle 1010X, whatever you do have. I'm still trying to figure out a best way of doing it myself and it's coming up to winter now so I'm definitely gonna have to try something to avoid getting water damage done to this amazing electric scooter. So let me walk you through some of the points where it could be really better and possible ways of doing it. Let's have a look. First off, you have this hole here. Of course, water is gonna get in wherever it wants to get in. That's gonna run down the stem and it can go anywhere around the bearings. It can also go down the cable here underneath. So how could you do it as well? I was thinking there is Gorilla Tape, which is very good. I've used it in the past. You could easily put that across there and do a nice neat job. You can also use silicone, but you know, I'm trying to figure out what, what would be the neatest out of them all. I think I'd probably end up using Gorilla Tape. It's absolutely fantastic. Another area you may have not noticed is this area here where all the cables are going into the battery deck. There is silicone there. That can break away very easily over time like any silicone. So again, you can get black silicone to probably do it all up nice and neat double check that this hole here it's completely water can get in there and go straight into the battery pack where all the controllers are you could put easily silicone there or you could actually use the gorilla tape and do a nice neat job on that other areas is the corners of each of this deck water can seep in there very easily again you could use the gorilla tape or you could use the black silicone sealant by the way comment below have you done any waterproofing yourself i'd love to know so let's just recap you have the the areas in the stem here you have the black silicone right in the middle where the cables are running you have the corners of the deck you have this hole here you also have the display unit I bought this cover off Banggood it does a pretty good job at protecting the top of it but the only problem is it doesn't really do a good job underneath and the problem with that is you have to have movement on the accelerator there I know there are videos out there on how to waterproof these so I'm gonna have to look into that personally myself and see you know see how things are but for the most part I haven't gotten caught rain on this and if you do get caught rain on this of course dry it as quickly as possible you don't want water sitting on this let's say you get home you forget to dry it you know you just let the water sit there get a good fiber cloth and give it a good nice wipe down make sure it's completely bone dry and one more area of course of this is the actual main deck it does have a gasket going around this area here but again silicone probably all the way around the scooter you will have to open the deck to do that correctly they're the only major points i think and um, the motors are supposed to be actually quite okay to be honest for sealant it's mainly the battery areas where the controllers are we can get damaged again you have another hole here where the cable is coming through for the motor so all these little areas you could do it spend the day at it and i guess give you a bit more peace of mind there's nothing worse than getting caught in the rain and then you're worried about your electric scooter starting up the next day it is absolutely horrible so well, guys there you go if you have enjoyed this video do give it a like go ahead and subscribe if you do love electric scooters and yeah talk to you in the next video